The whole idea of it becoming essentially a suit of armor evolved over the years. The inspiration for some of the technology of the Batsuit was almost accidental. When DC artists added a yellow circle to the suit, one that looked like a bullseye, riders were inspired to add a new aspect to the outfit. When they started addressing the question of it being a bullseye, they took that opportunity to go, well, yeah, okay, and it is a bullseye. He wears Kevlar behind that section of the costume, hoping that criminals will actually fire at that, and it's bulletproof. Well, once you start doing that, the next logical question is, well, if you're gonna wear Kevlar there, why aren't you wearing Kevlar under the entire costume? Kevlar bi-weave, reinforced joints, tear-resistant. This sucker will stop a knife. Bulletproof, anything but a straight shot. Kevlar's cool. It's five times stronger than steel, and when woven in layers, like three to seven layers, it will protect the body. Developed by DuPont in 1965, Kevlar material gets its life-saving properties from the unique way its synthetic fibers are woven. In Kevlar, you have a bunch of fibers that are interweaved with each other, and so as they get hit, they actually stretch. The individual threads are fighting against each other and it can resist very large impacts and high-speed bullets without actually breaking. So if you have a suit made of Kevlar and you want to know how close you can be to someone who's shooting at you, interesting question is less the range than the actual size of the bullet and the speed. And Kevlar vests can cover a wide range and most, you know, hand pistols and even some shotguns, you know, Batman would be very safe against even up at close range. In the dark night, Batman's Kevlar suit gets an upgrade to the next level in defensive gear. I've been looking for the story reasons for redesigning the suit, and then it occurred to me it's actually very simple. We just would have it be the, the real reason we did redesign it, which is he wants to be able to move faster and more flexibly. That's what we put into the story. We collected together, you know, read about and looked at all these sort of Under Armour suits, what the Army used. So we just set about redesigning the suit. We see that it's made up of much more facets, like a suit of armor. The separate plates of armor of the new bat suit are anchored on an elastic mesh. It's 110 components to this suit. We decided that smaller armored plates would allow a crumple zone between those armored plates and allow him more movement. The Batsuit's flexible, armor-plated design parallels an actual technology called ceramic armor, made by companies like Ceridine Incorporated in Costa Mesa, California. Their ceramic plating has the resistance of steel, the material that's long been used to stop bullets. But ceramic plating is 70% lighter. To stop the bullet, you have to break the bullet. Therefore, you need something that is harder than the bullet. The lightest weight, hardest material known to man for these types of applications is known as boron carbide. Boron carbide is a black crystalline powder. When heated to extreme temperatures and formed into ceramic plating, it becomes nearly as hard as diamonds. Batman can not only take a bullet, he can also literally take the heat thanks to the fact that his suit is made of the real fireproof material known as Nomex. Nomex is used in firefighters' uniforms. Welders can wear it. Um, racing car drivers can wear it. Anyone who's at chance of being near a high flame situation or an explosion. When exposed to flame, regular cotton fabric ignites instantly. But clothing made of Nomex doesn't burn. It doesn't catch on fire, it doesn't melt, and it doesn't do any of the horrible things you think of when you're in fire, so that you can withstand fires for minutes without melting, burning, or igniting. Nomex is a fiber with built-in flame resistance. When exposed to intense heat, the fibers carbonize and become thicker, creating a protective barrier between the suit and a person's skin. Batman can basically walk through flames with this material, and the only thing he'll feel really is the heat. And if Batman rolls and falls and gets the fire out within a few minutes, he's certainly going to be fine. 